It's so interesting that we finally get a chance to work together. Yeah. We, I know we've been talking about doing this for a long time. Oh, a real long time. I know. But but the cool thing is that both of our careers have been constantly developing and evolving, and it's gotten to the point now where these journeys have collided. collided. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's collided in a cool way, man. Because you know, when I was doing the music for this album, you know, um, and once the idea of the whole thing started to unfold, I happened to be on your page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dude, and I saw that image right. of the mangrove, mm -hmm. and I fell in love with it. Because the first thing I thought of, I was like, okay, that represents power, strength, resilience, peace, it's all, all of those it. things. Yeah. And I said, that's what, we, mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to do with this group. Right. You know? And when I approached you, I remember I was telling uh, uh, my wife about it, and then the first thing she said was, well, maybe somebody else has the rights to it. Man, in my heart, <laughs> for a second, you know. <laughs> But when I, when, I, when I approached you and you said, no, it's cool, I was like, yes. But the thing that you did to modify it mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah, because I, I realized that, because that was actually a, uh, a technical projection test in my studio. Okay. Where I was just trying to work out something and you saw that test. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you got back to me and said that you were really excited about it, mm -hmm. My, my immediate reaction was, okay, I got to dial this thing in right. a lot tighter mm. to really say some of the things that you were trying to say when, when we were talking. And, and, and at the same time that you were doing your work with Breathless, where you were dealing uh, with this issue of how projected images mm -hmm. yes. affect us socially yes. and culturally, yes. You know, over in Dallas, I was dealing with the same thing. Oh wow, interesting. And 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 yeah. that's what sort of, and that's when we began to really resonate on the same frequency. Yes. And I know, mm -hmm. knew that this thing would happen naturally and and beautifully. And so, I went back and really tried to take some of the things that you talked about, the wanting to represent in this album and, and mm -hmm. capturing it in that image that we did Dude, for the cover. Man, you did because you know, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've told you this before, but you know, people who see this image. The power is right there in, in the art. You know, this, this, this one woman came up to me in Denver and she's, she talked about the stained glass. She talked about the dove and the fist and it all resonated for her. And um, that's, that's, that's the thing that I think is amazing of what you accomplished, man. It's beautiful. I really appreciate that. And that's what good art does. That's what good music does. That's, that's what it's all about. Because oftentimes as the artist, you, you know what the work means to you. And when I look at that sort of black mangrove series, I see it in two contexts. You know, I see it, uh, it combines the fist, which is a symbol of power, universally across the, the, the globe. It also combines sort of like the mangrove tree roots, which is also a symbol of resilience that grows equatorially all over the world. And the black mangrove is interesting. But, but, but just explain what a mangrove is. Okay, for, for a, a mangrove tree is a tree that grows all along the equatorial line around the world. You'll find them here in Louisiana, you'll find them here in Florida, you'll find them in Africa, you'll find them in Asia. You'll find them everywhere along the equatorial line and they sort of mitigate that place where the sea uh, meets the land. So they're very important in terms of uh, soil erosion. They're very important for nutrients, for life forms that live around them. The black mangrove is interesting in that it, it can secrete salt. Like the salt grows through it and it secretes the salt and also has these things called pneumatophores which grow out of the ground like little pipes and breathe sort in, in some of these areas that are often you know covered in water and then other times dry. And when I thought about that plant growing around the world equatorially, I thought it was a, a really wonderful symbol of resilience. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times artistically what you want to do is to combine uh, different things and then put them together mm -hmm. and see what those compound relationships mm -hmm. create and what they evoke. And the same thing happens in music, you know, and, and, and so on another level, that series, when I left, I began that series when I left Ohio and, and moved down to Georgia. I remember. And yeah. my world went from like this to <laughs> yeah, I remember. like yeah. this. And, and, yeah, yeah. and the question was yeah, yeah. whether or not you can create something with that kind of power, mm -hmm. not at this scale, right. but at this scale. Right. 
you know, and, and that was sort of important to me artistically. And over the past 10 years that I've been working on the series, it also charts how I've integrated a lot of these digital fabrication technologies yeah. into the work. Right. Now, w coming to, to the cover for the album, when I moved to Dallas, the question was, how is, you know, moving here to UTD and teaching in this art technology program going to affect your work? I don't know how it's going to affect right, the work. Right, yeah. I know the work is going to change, right. and I know that I'm going to enjoy the journey. Right, right. And, and so there, when you have sound to work with, when you have uh, video projectors to work with, you still want to make profound artistic statements yes. with these technologies that makes the work resonate, even though people don't have to know about all the technical aspects of how it's done. Sure, good, exactly. good art, good right. music. Yeah, you know, same thing the, music. The, yeah. the, the, the same thing. And so when you got to me and you said, man, I really love that image, you know, and I really want, I really wanted to bring in another element and bring in the dove, bringing in that sort of like stained glass element, mm -hmm added a very celestial aspect yes, to the work definitely. that brought an element of peace yes. to that really, you know, strong, strong statement of, right, so uh, say, uh, yep. of strength and power and resilience, and, and resilience mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and so when you look at the object, it's, so that's a third element. So, yes, so yes. you, so you multiply the power by three now. Yes, and, yes. and so the way that it can be interpreted has been expanded and not surprised that people come at it and, and feel it in, in different ways because, because yes. it's really saying something. I know it is. It, it, it's, it's saying a lot. I, I've, you know, I've been saying it a lot recently, but I think that you have created our generation's version of the piece. That's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, because it encompasses so much of what's going on right. in our community right now, you know, in terms of everything with the I Can't Breathe campaign, everything that's going on with our youth mm -hmm. in this country, and their res resiliency and how they're handling it right. and dealing with it, because they're starting to speak truth to power, power. you know what I mean? And, and but from a, from a collective point of view, and it's beautiful to see because, you know, these these, these young folk, they're feeling a need to express themselves, but in an intelligent way mm -hmm. that really can affect some change. And when I saw that image, that image to me represented all of that. Right. And, and for me, you know, the way, the way it's, it, it's a very affirmative statement of power, unity, and desire for change. But it's also a desire for peace. Peace. There you go. And, 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 yeah. spiritu and spirituality exactly. in some way. And that's what gives the movement and the time amongst our youth its integrity. Right. That, that, that it's, it's not so sort of like a weak and passive thing. No. No, it's very assertive. Right. right. But, and, and, it, and it's, it's peacefully assertive. Right. Not, not, not in the passive way, but mm -hmm. peace as a, as a strength. Of it. Yeah. As a strength. You know, but that, but that's, and that's part of the history. That's mm -hmm. part of the history of the civil rights movement. That's mm -hmm. been a part of our history in this country and part of movements all around the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what I love about it. it. Man, when I, when I first saw it, all of those things hit me like that. Mm -hmm.